her mercy. But even though nature's power is awesome, so is our power to persevere. Of all the Hawaiian islands, native lore says that Kauai is the most enchanted, protected from malevolent forces. But on September 11, 1992, a hurricane named Iniki shattered this legend forever. Iniki in Hawaiian means strong, piercing winds. The morning of the hurricane, at five in the morning, the tsunami horn went off. The siren came on, and the people from the condominium came by and told everyone that the hotel was the shelter where people should go. Well, I didn't think too much about it until it started getting windier and windier. The eye of Iniki is approaching from the south at 20 miles per hour with sustained winds of 125 miles per hour. When I watched the TV and saw that eye headed right towards Iniki, I was starting to get a little scared. Winds up to 50 miles per hour were reported on the west end of Kauai at midday. A 20-foot surf was reported in the Port Allen area where waves were crashing over highways in Poipu and Keikaha. The hurricane started with a really heavy rain. And then it started getting really gusty. Residents and tourists are huddled in homes, hotels, at Red Cross shelters on Kauai and Oahu. I'm starting to talk um, to my mother and Lauren about going to the hotel. And they're kind of... Mm, not committing. So Dorothy and I decided to uh, just sit it out in the condo and not go to the hotel with the crowds of people. Deborah was getting a little upset with both of us. I thought later in the hotel when all this all was coming down around our heads that, you know, why didn't I throw the tizzy fit of all times? I mean, this is my mother and my, my lover. Among those caught in the storm are the crew of the movie Jurassic Park. We all scrambled and um, wound up spending uh, the day uh, in a shelter at the, uh, at the hotel. Parts of Kauai are already without electrical power and phone lines are overloaded statewide. Well, suddenly there was like this horrendous noise. And the door went wham, slam shut. And I jumped up and I went over to open the door. And I pushed it open and looked in there and all I saw was sky. And I looked at Dorothy and I said, uh-oh. Iniki's winds are gusting to 175 miles per hour. When I seen the sh composition shingles on the roof started coming off and flying like flying saucers going across the road, the thing was boop, boop, boop. The hurricane was classified as category four on a scale from one to five and was later upgraded to five. The wind in itself picked up so much debris, rubbish and dust, and you could almost see the outline of the wind. The sliding door in the back bedroom, the thing would breathe like that after I was trying to hold it back. You could hear it. The weather service office in Honolulu forecasts that the eye of Inaki will pass just east of Kauai at about 5 p.m. And then the, the eye of the hurricane came. I thought everything just stopped, and it got hot, very hot and very humid, and you could hardly believe. It became very, uh, kind of orangish. Thinking the hurricane has ended, Vincent Hoff and Ryan Hainberg venture out in their car to survey the damage. And all of a sudden, the wind started picking up a little bit, and we were going into this cul-de-sac, and we were broadside to the wind, and all of a sudden it slammed us. I thought the car was going to turn over. So I backed into the wind in front of this house, and this heavy slate roofing towel started smashing into the car. I was fearing for my life, and I said, Vince, we got to get out of here. And I ran up to the house and took shelter against the side of the house. And we were all outside. We were right there witnessing the whole thing, and I'm thinking to myself, we're going to die. No, no, no. Just right here. Right here, Ryan. Just stay right here, man. Don't worry about being cold and shit. Get away from that window. Stay right here. It was, uh, it was real bad. I mean, horrendously violent. And um, I just couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe the force that... Well, we were just watching trees fly into the sky and not come down. And then suddenly, through the glass doors overlooking Hanalei Bay, this wind came through the window. We heard this, uh, 
like a buckshot sound. And the picture window in the living room had blown out, and it was just like a gust of wind just rushed right in through that broken window. We, we heard sort of like a ripping, and then the next thing we knew was the, the sheet rock from the ceiling falling on our heads. I thought the house was going to go next. The roof and the kitchen has gone just like that. And the sound accelerated. It would get so piercing and sharp and intense that you felt that everything was just going to disintegrate. We heard these terrible noises of things crashing around you. Above us, the roof just with this big explosion and faster than the eye could see. swung down like this and slammed into the wall, all the way through the wall, and pinned Dorothy. Something hit me. It was this big wall up there. And so I tried to grab the beam and, and move it. It was a whole roof had come down. And I just grabbed the pillow and, poof, and she popped out and over. And she was going, oh, thank God. The public address system comes on. May we have your attention, please? We'll miss. Deborah, and it was like slow motion. And I put my hands over my ears. I said, this can't be, this can't be my name. Because I, I really didn't expect them to survive. And all of a sudden I came out of this doorway and there was the hotel lobby. Totally chaos with debris. And standing in the center of the lobby was Lauren. It was kind of like a near-death experience, so to speak, even though I only cut my foot. Dorothy Edmondson has broken her pelvis. As soon as the storm subsided, Lauren rushed her to a clinic where she received immediate medical attention. As for Kauai, it has been ripped apart. And when I went to her house, he kind of walked over there. Man, all we had, all we worked for. Gone. But like I said, when he, when he walked through everything, all the rubbles and everything, yeah. Then he came to me and said, hey, we're alive, you know, we're alive. The amount of devastation was awesome. Houses flattened, telephone poles flattened, trees flattened. Hey, whatever followed that next day was, was tremendous. I mean, um, the people, the neighborhoods, man. Hey. Uh, that was the tightness of the, the, the family, the aloha, the ohana. Never mind about all these material things, man. God kept us alive, and we're thankful about that. Hurricane Iniki destroyed or damaged nearly 10,000 homes, leaving thousands homeless. Incredibly, only four people were killed and 55 injured. It will be recorded as the worst hurricane to hit the Hawaiian Islands this century. She decides to come. Nature decides to move and change the face of the earth. It's about the only thing you really have to fear.